Let's go to the line. Uh, Lacey spent seven dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I want to thank everybody for coming out for Lift for Life, raising money for rare diseases, uplifting athletes. It's awesome. Our players, led by Eric Shrive, Adam Gress, Ty Howe, done a hell of a job on this thing. It's been awesome. It's been great to be a part of. Our players are doing a great job this summer. The 2013 team is a special team. Nobody is coming close to outworking this team, I'm just telling you, okay? All 106 guys have been putting in great effort all summer long, okay? And they are doing everything they need to do. So you guys should be real proud of them. I want you guys to give them a huge hand right now, 2013. We've asked a little bit more out of them this summer than we did last summer. So the expectation is gonna be a little bit more as well. Guys, we're getting ready for New York City. We hope we're gonna be there with us. And we're going full bore ahead and getting ready to do some work. Everybody join on in. We're gonna, we're gonna clap it up for these cats during the events. I told them this is gonna be just like New York City. This is game day tonight. We're getting ready. Let's hear it for them one more time. I'm just going to tell you about how the summer works as far as what our week looks like. So Monday, these guys hit their legs real hard. They squat, put the barbell on their back, they go heavy and hard. And then we do speed work, we do agility work, get a little faster, a little quicker. Okay, Tuesday, Tuesday's our big bench press day and our interval conditioning day. And we push this sled around. This sled is like an extension of their body at this point. They just live on this thing, Tuesday. That's a sled, okay? Wednesday, we have a very self-motivated team. These guys chuck the ball around on their own, okay? They do lineman drills, it's led by the seniors. They do an outstanding job. 
on Wednesday. It's kind of their light day. Thursday, we're in the weight room again, hitting those legs. And then we take it to the hill over there behind the behind right field. Nice little steep incline. And we have a nice sand pit. It's the biggest beach in central PA, which is right out there, okay? So the guys get in there, we put the music on, and it's like they're at the beach. That's how they think about it. We just run, run, run in the sand pit at the beach. And then Friday is a big upper body day, pushes and pulls, and then we come out here and do stuff like this. We call this team competition, and it's led by the senior class, and they pick teams, and we do them for points, and we have a lot of fun with that. And we end, the, and we end with the week with up-downs, which you'll see later. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Okay, just kidding, all right? But we usually end the week with up-downs, we build to 100. We go pretty old school, and these cats right here are old school, I'm telling you, they are hard workers. Next event is gonna be stack the sandbags. So they're going to take a sandbag, pick it up, go around the cone, put it on top of a platform. Then they go get the other sandbag around the cone, put it on top of the platform. Both bags have to be off the ground on the platform. Hunk, get around that cone. Let's go, fellas. Go ahead. Next event is going to be the keg carry. And no, they're not filled with any but sand. Okay, there's sand in the kegs. Okay, they're loaded to about 150 pounds. They're going to pick them up. They're going to carry them from this blue line back here. Okay, to this white line right here, about uh, 18 yards away, and then back. Okay, so it's a race. So all the people on the sideline. You may want to move your behind because those kegs, when they come at you, they don't slow down. So you better get out of the way, including you there, Cal Birdie. You're going to get run over by a keg. Be careful. Okay? All right. So let's get up for these guys. We're still competing. Let's go. Here's how it works. At the end of that rope, comes across this line, okay? That means the offense wins. At the end of that rope, comes across this line, the defense wins. So right now, If you're not a jet, get behind the goal line. If you're not a jet, if you're not a jet, get behind the goal line. Jets, come on up, grab this rope. Grab this rope. Hand it down your back. 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 Hand it down your back.
Zach Swinak is the eight. Zach Swinak rehab by Tim Raymond his staff. He was the anchor leg right there for the offense. He's ready to go. Let's give a hand for Zach Swinak now. The Bombers are now up. Remember, you got your defense on the right over here as you're looking out. All that's in left. Hold on, get off the rope, guys. You don't touch the rope. Come on, Salmo. Portuguese meatball, hold on a second. Hands behind your back. Get off the rope. Hands behind your back. Behind your back. You got Carson as an anchor. As an anchor for the defense. We have Chelsea James as the anchor of the offense. That's all. And Carson will not be the man. Where are these big tight ends are he's talking about? Where the heck are they? Got my head in the anchor. Come on, Paul. Keep going. You better pull hard. In and out of the way. Hands off the rope. Don't touch the rope. Hands behind your back. Behind your back, Bars. Bars is an edge guy. I was trying to get an edge. Hands behind your back. Everybody can't blame him. You gotta love it, Bob. Get ready. Speechless. Ten years ago, my teammates and I had a vision to take the position we were in as Penn State football players and use it to raise awareness, to take that spotlight we have and to shine on people who needed it a whole lot more than we did. Ten years later, you know, every year somebody says, what are you going to do? You're graduating. Who's going to take, take this? What are they going to do with it? Every year somebody comes along. Suey, Brackett, Farrell, Tribe. I can't say enough about this team and the fact that every year this gets bigger and better and there's more of you sitting out there and um, what started here in State College has now spread to 21 campuses around the country and I think for that you guys should give yourselves a round of applause. And there's a lot of talk about one team. And that's exactly what this is. On the field, this is one team. In State College, this is one team. And around the country, Uplifting Athletes is one team working together to fight 7,000 different rare diseases that affect 30 million Americans. So I can't say enough. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me here. You guys blew me away. Now let's take care of business on the field this fall. Listen, all, all little kids, you guys want autographs for these guys, that's what they're here to do. Give you guys a nice autograph. Hey, 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 Hey man, I need to go home. Oh, 